Hello everybody, it's Evil Mayor Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. In the last video, started building some more uh, water production facilities. Um, also have some rockets doing some trade over I'm here. I think I'm going to need to actually do some more trade setups in this area. Um, I've taken some of these power plants, or the, some of these waste rock plants offline because they're not doing much at the moment. Uh, this one is already done. Two of them, so we're absolutely going to go straight and go for uh, level three on this. Oh, we have a I have 10 power over here. I can't hook these up. Um, I'm kind of at the point, I'm like, meh, about it all. Um, actually, I could drop a bunch of uh, water vaporators over that area, which doesn't sound like a bad idea when you think about it. A um, bunch of the machine parts. There's 170 here. I need five here. Mm -hmm. Oh, both the domes are up. Hooray. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to remember what I was talking about in the last video, trying to, like, I'm actually going to pipe over like that between the two domes so I have plenty of space for a passage ramp and also can drop down some factories. Oh, that's right. I have a meteor storm happening. Where's it, where are they coming down? All right, they're coming down up here. Now, we do have MDSs operational to protect all the sites. I also suffered from a pretty good allergy attack today. Uh, this is a Sunday recording. I'm trying to get ahead on the recordings right now. Uh, with work coming up, wedding planning, it's getting busy for me, so I'm trying to do as much as I can uh, to kind of keep it all afloat. Channel wise, while at the same time not trying to sneeze into your earballs during this stream. Alright, Spacey's gonna give us that. Absolutely, we'll take it. We'll send this guy back down here. We're gonna turn this down. I'm gonna pop up to the map, see what's going on. Yeah, there's just a lot coming down in this area. Cool. Where's this heavy drone load? Over here? Yeah, I can agree with that. Alright, so. Uh, let's kind of plot everything out for this dome. Uh, I'm a little surprised we only have, uh, six rare metals here, but I absolutely want to make this a dome where we can start cranking out more of the kids. So we're going to do double nursery, double playground up here. Uh, we'll do our standard school Martian University over here. Now, since I have a water reclamation system, it makes sense for me to actually put farms in this one. Yep. So, each one of these takes four people. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, drop down our diner, our Tai Chi garden, two small grocers, and a small art store. I'll also put a polymer factory outside this dome. So that people can go work out there. But predominantly, I want the people in this dome to be botanists. I also think this one needs, needs a massive amount of relaxation. See, I wish this would do something for relaxation, but I don't have it. Um, I need an infirmary on this one. Oh boy. Wait. Alright, yeah. Actually, let me go into the passengers here and double check the botanist stuff. Um. Nope. Botanist. Plus luxury, minus social. So, the farms that I got, that's actually a good thing. 
Oh, the, uh, the luxury, the art stores, that's a luxury. So they don't want social stuff. I absolutely drop a security station here. I'll leave those last little spots available. And uh, let everybody in this dome kind of go do work. And I'm going to just turn this dome on. Um, we do have a few people who are unemployed. So want to make sure we're addressing that as well. Funding received. Boom, there's some money. And since we're talking money, let's do some more outsourcing. We're working on pretty much the last text that we really need to get unlocked, and then we're just on the repeatable text the rest of the time for this game. And uh, these drones, they're just swarming and getting everything done. I like it. Meteor incoming. Show me. You're fine. Oh, damn! It didn't shoot her down. Was not expecting that, actually. <laughs> With the amount of fuel being produced out of all these sites, we definitely can opt to make these extractors fueled. That's going to be annoying for a while. can't do that, damn it. Alright, so I'm just going to do cover crops into uh, either soybeans or fruit trees. Because we'll slowly get more food cranking out of these uh, buildings. And you know what? Hell with it. I'm going to bring, I'm going to put down another tra uh, launch pad. Research complete. Fusion auto regulations done. That's fine. Absolutely factory AI this guy. I'm not going to amplify him yet. I'm collecting these guys. Putting out a person to relate it. Let's see. Specializations. We only have 28 botanists total. That's fine. I'm actually going to turn off the scientists on this one. And this building can hold 64 people, so I'm absolutely going to bring people down there. We also have uh, these domes, which this one I haven't really done much with. Look at that. I'm, I know I'm zipping around this map really fast, and I do apologize if it's messing with you. But essentially get all those going. Can't remember what I wanted to do in this one. I think this one was going to be a sanatorium. Nope, I got a sanatorium over there. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Actually, go. Put a hanging garden in there, and that main site over here. There we go. With these, uh, there's plenty of space for me to put some vaporators, so I'm going to do that. Anomaly found. Oh, that's some flat research out there. So this means metals and polymers. You come check that out, would you? Stupid. All right. So at this point, you've probably noticed that uh, this video did not come out on Monday. This one came out on Tuesday. Um, main reason is I'm playing a lot of Tropico. I'm really liking the game. So that game is kind of going to be the mainstay on the channel for a bit. Um, I've been doing Surviving Mars almost consistently on the channel for a full year. So I kind of want to try something different. I think that one will be fine. I just want to make sure this one's not overlapping. 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this easier. I've got plenty of money, so I'm actually going to bring down a bunch of uh, Vaporator Prefabs on the on the elevator. <laughs> that way I can just drop them all down as I need to. Funding received. Right, this rocket's almost here, so I'm going to put a bunch of people in this dome. Anomaly analyzed. Yay. We have a delivery on the space up. And you see, I'm just trying to move as quick as I can, trying to do as much as I can with this, because I Tropico's getting, like I said, Tropico's going to be that main game, and I think for a while, Surviving Mars is going to go back down to, is actually going to become a secondary video on the channel. It's going to be a video that we're going to be doing Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, if I can find, uh, I do want to get the Command and Copy games, uh, that uh, Red Alert 3 campaign done, absolutely. I'll turn you on. And uh, I'm going to automate all the farms if I haven't done so already. Oh, stupid me. I didn't service bot this stuff. A lot of electronics just being dumped into this uh, into this dome. And hopefully now with that What does this dome really need? Drinking gaming. Hmm. Very quickly, we filled up this dome. I like it. Alright, so now that's done and they're filled up. Let's drop down those. Yeah, you gotta do them individually, which I don't like. I'm liking the space Y offers just to kind of clear out the metals I have. Research complete. Network nodes now available. Keel. Um, excavator fully upgraded now. Funding received. Okay, so if I put them on that edge, maybe here. Okay. Think I figured it out. I'll test my theory real quick. Right. What I'm doing is I'm putting them right on the edge. This one I'm going to put a little further away because I still might change my mind and put that out. You can go ahead and head... Okay, perform the maintenance. I could gamble on it, but at the same time, we're in the late game now. Why should we? Alright, uh, we got plenty of polymers now. We can do the upgrades for everything. Oh, now you can go. Please go. Alright. So this dome... Still has a lot of people already working in it, which I like. Upgrade that. Alright, we need a lot of engineers. I agree with that statement. Um, over here, though, I want to make this a comfy dome. Could end up making a casino, or a... Uh... A mega dome just for the tourists, which I'm gonna consider that. Blue Suns willing to offer me a bunch of stuff. Kind of wish the map would not uh, run me across every time I hit OK on one of those. Let's factory AI them. Factory AI them. Factory AI them. 
Why do I only have a small number of rare metals here? Looks like they're all here. Yep. I'll make this like 55. That way we can keep this operational. This dome, this one's going to do a little bit of construction. Or this one's going to actually probably do a lot of... Ooh. Now, as much as I want to do cloning vats, it's not going to make sense for me to do it in this one. This dome's going to be full of engineers. This is going to be a build stuff dome. So much so, I'm actually going to do that. Um, I only have a power surplus of 100 right now. We go with a full bar. Infirmary. Diner. I could go for the Tai Chi Garden, but I don't know if that's actually going to do anything for people here. I'll put a full grocer down here. Turn this dome on, go for the Home Collective upgrade. Alright. We need more power. And I think the best place to put that is going to be away from everything. Kind of like down in this area, maybe? Yeah, I'm liking it. Alright. And we'll also drop some of them scrubbers. There we go. All right. 1,200 colonists on Mars side right now. It's a good thing. Um, wow. Yeah, you definitely need more drones. <laughs> I still have this dome. This is a medium dome for God, one of the earliest episodes. I still haven't figured out what to put in here. Um, missing service building. Gaming, luxury, gambling, playing. That just tells me you need a casino complex in here. There you go. God, look at that. So many people working. Very quickly running out of residence slots, even with all the... Uh, Go ahead and open up all those jobs. Factory AI. Service bots, open that shift. Service bots, open that shift. All right, here we go. I think I'm gonna put another apartment complex down there just so we have more people moving into it. A lot of folks that have not been trained. So I'm gonna open those shifts up, open up the overnight shift here. But do have Elon Gale living in uh, the ecology? They could be in a nursery. Oh my god, the number of kids here. <laughs> okay, yeah, we need a whole nursery set up. I'm going to put uh, five of them down, actually. Nope, four of them, and then the playgrounds... Three of them. I know I'm going a little overboard with it, but it's kind of what I do. Um, medical center here, I think. An infirmary. Don't have one in this dome. And I have six spaces left, so I can't... There's going to be a lot of small stuff going down here. So I can put a small art store. I don't have one of those in here yet. Um... Two small grocers and a diner. All going in here. I'm gonna open up all the shifts and I'm absolutely gonna service bot this building. You should not be working in there unless you absolutely have to be. And look, we're getting all those polymers back that we're spending. Nice.
Okay. So with the power coming online, we'll go for eternal fusion on him. And to me, this is what a late game colony looks like. You have your artificial sun over here, which, thanks to the scrubbers, have never been maintenanced. Love that. Um, these ones do need maintenance every once in a while because they're inside of a dome. The mole hole is fully expanded. We have plenty of metal stored about the colony. Just, just turn these guys on. We'll be fine. All right, we're getting kids moving out of the apartment complexes. I mean, that's a lot of kids. We need more people. Oh, yeah, looks like we need a couple more drone prefabs out here. Um, you need to be on all hours. So do you. Hmm. Research complete. We can now build a geoscape dome. Totally up for doing that. So a geoscape dome. You know, building it over here, maybe. I, I, I honestly don't have any qualms about getting rid of these sites because we now have water. We've got power. We've got ox. Nice thing is, it's right next to a dome that can service it. Okay. So a tunnel, I think I can go out from this middle spot and straight up to it. So it's good. Let's put down those depots for what we're going to need. There we go. We'll put metals at 100... Concrete at 100 as well. If I can see any of them. Wow, the polymer's instantly filled. Food, 120. Electronics at 50, I guess. Oh, there's two electronics depots here. Whoops, what am I missing here? Machine parts. Got 60 machine parts there. So we got water flowing in. That's good. Take another polymer load. Or not. Not sure why this one was offline, but okay. Service bots. So many bio robots. I have a lazy bio robot. That doesn't make a lot of sense. But I guess. There we go. I want to put a bunch of... I want to make more bio-robots. Again, why not? Alright, what does this dome need? Um, playing, dining, shopping. There's dining. Huh. I don't get that at all. Um, let's see. This one looks like it just needs a... Uh, one fusion reactor. Which fusion reactor needs more work? Waste rock. Waste rock. My apartment complex has malfunctioned. <laughs> right, 
Well, we should have some concrete coming in. It's amazing that the global load for shuttles is low, and it seems like not everybody has what they need to be productive. So. I think the irony was I think I wanted to make one of these areas just load it Funding received. with domes. Like, this area is, I mean, I could put some domes in here. We're putting domes in here. Absolutely, we're putting domes in here. All right. You, out of the way. I'm going to queue up, like, five domes. Why? Who knows? I'm evil. Why not? Alright. Note that they're all outside of the uh, drone commander ranges, so we're good here. When people dream about building domes on Mars, they're building a lot of these domes on Mars. Massive domes that stretch into the sky. Can't build any more over here, but I can build some down this way. <laughs> that one's in range of a hub. There we go. That one's working. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mega domes. I just planted down. Nine. Can I put one in here? No, but I could probably put a medium dome here, or a trigon. Nope, that rock's in the way. Stupid rock. Hmm. Research complete. Another uh, workshop available. <laughs> Don't know how I'm gonna connect those two. But I can connect them up this way. This one's a pretty easy connector. This one, not as easy. There'll be more domes on Mars. Bet your ass when we put more drone hubs down, too. In fact, for that, I've got the cash for it. Let's just bring down the prefabs we need. Funding received. Partial load went up on the elevator. We have a delivery on the space elevator. We have 16 hubs now, ready to help bring all these to life. All it takes is one drone heading over there. Now, I kind of want to build down here, but there's not a lot of buildable area. This area, it almost looks like it'd just be a lot of medium domes or just barrel domes to connect it all. That's not fun. You want big domes. All right, this hub's operational, so we can put another one down. Oh, 
Wow, I forgot about this dome. Whoops. Kind of hard to see in that one. So we'll turn... Oh, it's right, I can't, uh... You can't change the skin on that one. There we go. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> you saw the problem there. There we go. Alright, Spacey's gonna give us that. Just gonna cable them all together while I can. Oh, that's a problem. There we go. And... Okay. We're, getting, uh, we're actually are over time on this one, but that does not matter because I'm going to finish uh, planting the seeds for this guy. Funding received. All right. Now these hubs, they're going to be coming online. There's another one. All right, I'll put one down here, down here, down here. So many drones. But that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I think that the next one may end up being the last video. I want to get all these domes operational. I want to make a hard run to getting like 2,000 colonists. I'll probably make an incubator dome. Maybe turn this one into an incubator dome. Haven't decided yet. There's a lot of kids in this one, it looks like. I mean, case in point, we have all of these nurseries full of kids. A lot of kids in school. A lot of things happening. Um, wow. They have not actually been able to offload the machine parts. I need to put a spot for machine parts. Um... I'll put it down here, I guess, near the elevator. Yeah, uh, let's see what we can do about getting the machine parts into a spot, because they seem to be just getting dumped wherever there's availability for them. Next episode, though, I think we're going to start winding down. But please go check out the Tropico playthroughs. Um, you're going to be learning it as I learned it, so like the early, early games on this channel for Surviving Mars, uh, especially the USA and the Europe playthroughs. That's what you're going to be seeing over in Tropico. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out of my channel. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video.